I'm standing in the control room in one of Duke University's two natural gas steam plants. Here, natural gas is burned to boil water into steam, which is then used to heat buildings and water used throughout Duke's West Campus and the university's medical center. It's late June 2015 in Durham, North Carolina, and today's high is 98 degrees Fahrenheit, or 37 degrees Celsius. So the university's demand for space heating and thus natural gas is reaching an annual low point. However, this past winter was cold with temperatures falling as low as 9 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 13 degrees C. And at that time, the university's demand for natural gas was high. Such seasonal swings in demand characterize natural gas consumption. There are also seasonal swings in demand for petroleum products. But while the swings in consumption of some of these products, such as heating oil, somewhat mimic the oscillations in natural gas consumption, other petroleum products, such as gasoline, undergo cyclical changes in demand for other reasons. Let's start by taking a closer look at the causes for seasonality in natural gas demand. Demand for natural gas and certain distillate fuels, such as gasoline, diesel, heating oil, and propane, are subject to significant seasonal swings in demand. Consequently, the supplies and prices of these fuels can also vary significantly from one season to the next. For example, residential and commercial use of natural gas is primarily for space heating, so natural gas demand by these sectors is greatest during the winter months. The same holds for heating oil and propane since these fuels are also used for heating by the residential and commercial sectors. During the summer, however, residential and commercial demand shifts to increased use of electricity for air conditioning. And as this increased demand for electricity is primarily met by natural gas power plants, the electricity sector's demand for natural gas is greatest during the summer. Demand for natural gas then peaks twice during the year, with the peak during the winter being larger than that during the summer. The summer peak has been growing, however, as the use of air conditioning continues to expand. The seasonal swings in demand for natural gas have little effect on its production, which varies for other reasons and in general remains fairly constant throughout any given year. The price of natural gas, however, can undergo significant seasonal changes, particularly for residential customers. Note that these customers pay both the highest price for natural gas and face the greatest seasonal swings in price. Residential customers pay the highest price because they are the largest in number, yet consume the least amount of gas per customer and require the greatest amount of service from their natural gas utility company. However, Residential customers generally pay the highest price for natural gas during the summer when their heating needs and thus demand are the least. This rather counterintuitive dynamic is the result of the high demand for natural gas by the electricity sector during the summer and because of high demand by natural gas storage sites which capitalize on the summer lull in residential and commercial demand to refill their stocks. Note that while there is a similar seasonal signal to the price that commercial and industrial sectors pay for natural gas, it is much more muted and generally less significant than other price changes. This is because being larger, more cost-conscious and financially savvy consumers of natural gas, customers in the commercial and industrial sectors will often use hedging instruments such as over-the-counter trades and the futures market to lock in a gas price for the near future and thus reduce seasonal price volatility. In fact, retailers of propane and heating oil will do the same at the wholesale level, enabling them to offer more stable retail prices to their residential customers. The seasonal swings in fuels for heating and electricity generation then are strongly tied to temperature-driven energy use. There are also seasonal swings in gasoline and diesel demand for transportation, but these are for different reasons. In general, demand for transportation fuels is greatest during the summer months when families take summer vacation and teenagers are out of school and doing more driving. There are interludes of high fuel demand at other times during the year, such as the Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays here in the U.S., but these are brief. Demand for automotive fuels tends to be the least between January and March, when people primarily restrict their driving to commuting between home and work or school. 
Note that this winter period coincides with when the demand for heating oil is greatest. And since refiners make both gasoline and heating oil from crude oil, they will adjust their refinery yields in advance of each season so as to maximize output of the fuel that will see the greatest increase in demand. In the fall, refineries will produce a so-called heavy distillate slate that maximizes heating oil output in preparation for the winter. And in the spring, the refineries will switch to a light distillate slate that maximizes gasoline and diesel output in preparation for the summer driving season. At this time, they will also adjust the blends of their gasolines, at least here in the U.S., so as to minimize fuel evaporation and thus unwanted emissions that can result from the warmer summer temperatures. As for a seasonality to the price of gasoline and diesel, there is a tendency for automotive fuel prices to be highest at the start of the summer season and then to fall to a minimum in January. The dominant factor affecting gasoline and diesel prices, however, is the price of crude oil, followed by short-term supply constraints, such as are occasionally caused in the U.S. by fall hurricanes shutting down oil production in the Gulf of Mexico.